Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to walk you through a little bit of the decision making process that I have to go through right now in order to pick my calendar for third year. And let me show you on the computer screen what that's going to look like. These are the rotations that are possible for our stream in the upcoming year. Normally it's not colored, so it looks like this, but um, I decided to, to color a code some of these groups. So we have group A, B, all the way through H, and the difference is just the order of these groups. So we have internal medicine, group A, then acute care, which is eMERGE and anesthesia, have an exam, PEDS, vacation, pediatrics, uh, mandatory selectives such as like ophthalmology, dermatology, uh, uh, ped surgery, and you have your pediatric OSCE test, obsgyne, uh, year three, vacation surgery, family psychiatry, and so on. So everything else is just shuffled around a little bit more. Now, the reason why picking these are a little bit, you know, challenging is because uh, some people don't know what they want. Uh, so they really want to put what they want to explore first before January, February, because at uh, that time you have to pick your electives for fourth year. And so you want to have an idea of what you like and what you don't like so that you don't pick the ones you don't like uh, for fourth year and you do what you enjoy. Um, so in my in my scenario, I'm leaning towards family medicine and I'm pretty confident that that's what I want to do and that's what I'll end up doing, you know, for the rest of my life. But I still want to experience family medicine in a longer term. You know, I've had a couple of rotations here and there, but I want to experience family medicine before I have to pick my electives. Now, there is strategy to this. And as many people have told me, you know, I could go with group G and pick uh, had to do mandatory selectives before that way I go through a variety of experiences and I have an idea um, of, as to what I like what I don't like and then I could do family a little bit later or I could do family secure that have an idea of what it is and then go on with that um, or you can finish off the year with family and it's pretty chill you enjoy your summer a little bit more uh, compared to like internal medicine that is a lot more you know dense a lot more challenging uh, to do because it is dense, a lot of stuff, long hours. Um, so the benefits, let me go through uh, some of these groups. So groups E and F right now are kind of like top two for me because you just start off with uh, Obsky and surgery. I don't want to go into either of those. I enjoy surgery, but not the lifestyle. So I don't think I want to actually do that long term. So I don't mind if it's one of my first rotations, uh, then family med that is what I'm interested in. So kind of get nice and early and then follow up with the psychiatry internal in mid middle of the year. You know, it's going to be winter, a springish time, so not too bad. Uh, but by this time, I'll know how to use the EMR, um, hopefully, <laughs> and, which is the electronic medical records at the hospital where we have to take patient notes. Um, and that alone in itself is very challenging. And then I'll have a better idea of how to round on patients, take history and do physical exams and then uh, acute care uh, and finish off with a mandatory selective. So that doesn't sound too bad. And I think I have friends that are in group E or F uh, right now in, in third year and they're enjoying it. And I mean, everybody enjoys it. And this is really just being nitpicky about trying to control as much of our future that we can. But this is a lottery system. So all we can do, if you see on this other screen is we can only rank them. So I'm ranking F, E, D, G, H, C, A, B, um, but that's not guaranteed that I'm gonna get F just because I ranked it first. And because it's a lottery system, I could even get my fourth pick or fifth pick or last pick, and that has happened before. So I could be expecting or hoping for an F uh, group, but then get an A group, and you know I start off with internal and finish the psych and family towards the end. And although that wouldn't be ideal, Deal, it's also not the worst like starting off with internal medicine to be honest would give me a good foundation for the rest of the year so this is challenging I've been thinking about this for a while and um, I'm still thinking that I'm gonna stick with these uh, the ranking system that I picked you know FED 
as top three and kind of leave it up to the lottery to change it. Um, but uh, either way, I have to go through every rotation and all of these experiences will be helpful in, in shaping me and forming me into a better doctor and uh, giving me a better idea of what, what I should expect if I go into family medicine or any other practice. You know, the, the neat thing about family is that it, in, it encompasses so much. It encompasses, it can encompass a little bit of surgery, a little bit of, of obsgyne, a little bit of psychiatry, and, and so much more. Having a generalized understanding of each area will be super beneficial. So I think either way, whatever group they give me, should be good um but yeah i i'm tired of thinking about this and i can't really think about it more strategically ideally i'd probably want to do you know mandatory selectives here but i don't have that option like mandatory selectives and then family med but i can't play around with these uh it is what it is and uh, we see how it goes. So just wanted to make this video to show you guys kind of behind the scenes of, you know, what does a transition from second year to third year look like, at least for Ottawa. Um, also, uh, every student has to do a rural placement. So for me, my rural placement will be in family medicine because when you're outside of the city and you're in a smaller town, you can generally be more exposed to a variety of cases or a variety you know not just family medicine you see a little bit more of emerge um, or surgical assist depending what your family doctor does and so i believe that the experiences will be a lot better than just staying in a big uh, city where family doctors tend to refer to specialists some of the tactics or, or techniques yeah they're tactics that uh, third years have said you know pick a group that has you know peds right before your oski that's going to help you uh, most of them have peds next to them. You know, their sister group, you know, minute peds is right here, but still uh, that's helpful. I was thinking, you know, maybe family med towards the end because uh, it's a little bit more chill. You can enjoy summer. Maybe, you know, surgery is a lot, it's more chill during the summer because it's not as many people getting surgeries or out on vacations or doing something else. So that's another technique. Uh, internal medicine, that's brutal. I, I honestly, when I saw this, I had highlighted group H uh, what is it? It's fifth. Okay. I had highlighted group H, but when I looked at the bottom internal medicine during the summer, no, thank you. Um, and the funny thing is like, if I go into family medicine, there's no way around it. I'm going to be doing internal and other, other rotations during the, the year. So it's not really something I can avoid, but, uh, gives me hope that I have a little bit of control over my future. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to lock in my answers. You know, I've saved these and I'm not too worried because either way, we're going to go through the rotation. It's going to be fun. I'm going to learn a lot. I'm going to become a doctor. Uh, one, you know, can't stress over too much, but I'm going with uh, FED is top three and then GHCAB. Um, and I'll let you guys know, probably, I don't think it's worth it making another video. Actually, I might. I'll make another video with a follow up. I can't make any promises. Forget I said that. Follow me on Instagram and I'll let you know which group I got. And if I have another reason to make a follow up video, I will. But make sure to follow me at Chagulazvark on Instagram. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to join my Facebook group called Born Unstoppable. We have lots of pre-meds, medical students, and other people who listen to my podcast, Born Unstoppable podcast. And I'd love to see you there. All right, guys, take care.